What's up, the John Squad, and welcome to John Starts Episode 59. That's right, we're on episode 59. Let's get things going, shall we, with some trades that happened over the week. Sacramento Kings trade DeMarcus Cousins to the New Orleans Pelicans. Whew, that's a big trade for the New Orleans Pelicans. Okay, so in other news, the Miami Dolphins working on a trade sending um Brandon Albert to the Jaguars for Julius Thomas. Hmm. I don't really know if that happened right now. I never got the chance to look, but maybe it did happen. You never know, so maybe it did happen. So let's go on to another thing. Ben Stokes sets record as as highest paid international player. That's really huge for him right there, man. That's something big for the highest paid an international player. Congratulations to that guy, man. Making a lot of money. <sighs> man, got to give some credit to him on that one. Now, here's a good one for all you wrestling fans out there. Diamond Dallas Page to be inducted to the WWE Hall of Fame. You know, he's been really good with the DDP yoga and... You know, everything's just coming up great. So, apparently, um, DDP... Just congratulations to you, and just phenomenal that he's being dug into the Hall of Fame. He deserves it. Apparently, uh, Adolf Hitler's phone got sold for $243,000 at an auction that took place. So, apparently, $243,000, what would you do with the phone? Like, call on it, uh... I, I don't think it doesn't work, so apparently, so, um, whoever has the phone, they have history right there, so, I have nothing much to say, so let's, let's move on. Apparently, uh, UFC fighter makes fun, makes, uh, not makes fun, UFC fighter makes a play for Ronda Rousey after knocking out her boyfriend, so apparently he made a little play for her, of acting, like a play for her, after knocking out her boyfriend, <laughs> laugh my ass off, that's kind of funny, oh boy, oh, it's too funny, in other news, uh, Los Angeles Lakers GM, Mike, uh, uh, I'm sorry if I get this name wrong, Mike, Kubitschik's, has been revealed of his duties, duties, huh? and Jim Buss will no longer be executive vice president of basketball operations. But in other news, we're going to get on to that one, the LA Lakers name Magic Johnson, president of basketball operations. So that's pretty good for him right there. So Magic Johnson is going to turn the Lakers around, which I think that's good. Hopefully not for good, but I'm a Celtics fan, so hopefully, uh, not really good, so you never know, uh, maybe in a couple of years they'll be good, but you never know, so let's not focus on this one right now, Matt Wieters agrees to a deal worth up to $21 million with Washington Nationals, so the pitcher that Matt Wieters agreed up to $21 million with Washington Nationals, <sighs> That's something big right there that you see every day. That's just something good. So, congrats to Matt Wieters, and that's pretty good, if you ask me. Okay, so apparently last Monday, Isaiah Thomas put Celtics fans on a high alert with emojis tweets. So, apparently he tweeted out three emojis. An eye-looking stare like this. And then he tweeted out... Uh, Arrow glass sand. Then he tweeted out a watch. Apparently it's for the trade deadline, but Celtics didn't really make any moves, unfortunately. But that's okay. But Isaiah Thomas just put all the Celtics fans in a friendly, which it was hilarious. And I laughed about a video where, from the office where he says, everybody stay calm, everybody stay calm. It's just so funny on Twitter. Fans were all in a frenzy about stuff. <sighs> well, I really wanted to get Jimmy Butler or Paul George, but you know what? That's okay. We're looking forward to the future. So, Carolina Panthers part ways with veteran fullback Mike Tolbert. I hate to see a guy get released, but you know what? It's what's good for the future, what's good for the gamblers. So, that's what's good. 
the LA Lakers trade Lou Williams to the Houston Rockets for Corey Brewer in a first round pick. So that's pretty good right there. Good for the Lakers, good for the Rockets. And the Brooklyn Nets trade Bajan Bajanovich to the Wizards. Now guess what? The funny part is now that he's on a, that he went to a suckish team to a playoff team. So I find that kind of hilarious now too. And they trade him for uh, to the Wizards for a future and for for veterans and draft picks. So apparently that's what happened there. And also, Norris Noel got traded from the Sixers to the Dallas Mavericks for um, apparently injured Boga and somebody else that I wasn't paying close attention to during the trade the line Thursday. But apparently, um, I guess it works out for everybody's team. So um, once again, the John squad. Episode 59 out of the books. Join me next week for episode 60. That's Trey John Saltz every Monday morning. And um, once again, the John Squad, please like this video. Leave your comment down below. And subscribe for more. You're all the best, the John Squad. You're one of a kind. Now help me think of what type of videos to put out during the week. I need your guys' help. I'm running out of, like, you know, like, uh, thoughts and ideas. So... If you can really help me, I'll appreciate it. But I'll think of stuff. I promise you. Peace out, the John Squad.